Breaking news tonight from Camp Randall Stadium as Paul Christ has been fired. The very latest as the Badgers move on from their head coach just five games into the season. It's a tough time to make a transition, um, but I felt that it was the right time and, and um, that's what led me to it. Thanks for joining us this evening. We begin tonight with breaking news from the University of Wisconsin. Paul Christ is out as head football coach of the Badgers. Wisconsin has fired him after the team's two and three start to the season. Sports director Zach Hanley has more on Christ dismissal. Tough is the best way to describe today for Wisconsin football. Chris McIntosh, Paul Christ, and Jim Leonard met with the team to break the news that UW is parting ways with Christ and Leonard will be named the interim head coach the rest of the season. Now, Chris led the Badgers to 67 wins and three Big Ten West titles, but was just 15 and 10 in his last 25 games, including back-to-back -back blowout losses. As far as why now for McIntosh, we call it a difficult decision but one that had to be made. This is a decision that's based upon where we're at as a program. And, um, you know, I, I think it's important to make a decision uh, when I feel it's the right time, given the circumstances of where we're at as a program right now. And so um, it's a tough time to make a transition. Um, but I felt it was the right time. It's our duty, you know, my duty as a coach um, and to get our staff and players to rally, you know, behind him and, and really fulfill everything that he had envisioned for this team, which we still think is, is out there. Jim Leonard called the opportunity a dream in a nightmare and said Chris told him after the change he has a ton of confidence in him, saying, quote, he made that clear when he hired me and he made that clear today. Outside Camp Randall, Zach Hanley, News 3 Sports. When Chris Farron went public, some Badgers and other university members shared their thoughts over Twitter. Here's one of them. Sophomore running back Braylon Allen tweeting, anyone who wants Coach Chris gone isn't a part of this team. Meanwhile, University Chancellor Jennifer Manukin also sharing her thoughts on Twitter, expressing her appreciation to Chris for his seven plus years as head coach of the Badgers. Now we sent out a push alert through the Channel 3000 app tonight, the very moment we confirmed the news about his dismissal. You can download that for free and make sure you've push notifications on so you never miss a breaking story. Let's take a look outside now to get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with meteorologist Gary Knalty. Gary? It's a pleasant and cool evening to, uh, this evening across southern Wisconsin. It's been that way all weekend. <laughs> One of the few weekends we've had recently where we've had uh, dry conditions. Let's start out by taking a look at the time lapse from the WIC Skycam. This is looking off toward the east. A little cloud cover this morning that actually held temperatures up a bit overnight, but you can see during the day we had bright sunshine and temperatures that were very comfortable. On Doppler track, there's a few sprinkles of rain up in northwestern Wisconsin and central and northern Minnesota. That's been the case over the last couple of days, but they haven't been getting anywhere near us. High temperatures today, just a tad cooler than yesterday in Madison. 67 are high. Janesville is at 68, but to the west, temperatures are still at or above 70 degrees from Mineral Point and Lone Rock to the west. A little cooler closer to Lake Michigan. Temperatures are in the lower 60s. Right now, temperatures range from the middle 40s in east central Wisconsin to the low 50s here in Madison to the middle 50s out toward Prairie du Chien across Dane County right now 50 degrees in Stoughton 49 in Middleton and 49 in Cross Plains by tomorrow morning we'll be down to about 44 degrees so mostly clear just a little bit cooler but we'll see a couple more nice days before a big change comes in for the end of the week I'll have more on that in just a few minutes all right thanks Gary it's not necessarily news anymore to hear about a stolen Kia or Hyundai because it's just become so common but what if your car is stolen while in the possession of a business that won't cover the cost of the damage. Leah Lindscheid has that story in tonight's Call for Action. My car was attempted to be stolen um, on June 22nd of this year, and um, for whatever reason, they got spooked off. Adele Mack had to walk to meet us this month in downtown Madison because her Kia Optima is currently undrivable. They smashed in my back uh, passenger window and then destroyed my ignition. Um, the cops were like, "It's they're going to come back and finish this job off. You need to move the car like ASAP. But the thing is, that attempted theft happened four months ago. She took her car to Rust Arrow Kia to get it fixed with explicit instructions to keep it inside and protect it. And my car was like a hot, like, it was like flashing lights around it, you know, like all, all the work had been done. All they needed to do was the last little step of starting the car, really. That's exactly what happened. Adele got a call about a week later from Rostero 
alerting her the car had been stolen off their lot. They said that my car had just been like mangled. They took it off-roading. They took it um, down the bike path back behind Kia on the west side. We drove by Rust Arrow and saw the car's damage for ourselves, still sitting outside. So when she asked the dealership to cover the cost, their insurance adjuster came back and said that they were not going to be held responsible for anything that happened to my car from it being stolen off their lot. It was not their fault. Not, they didn't care. Well, I can tell you that people are kind of afraid, right? If you go out and you buy a new vehicle or a newer vehicle and think that it's going to be safe in an investment for you and then come to find out it has this vulnerability. Certain Kia and Hyundai models are missing a key anti-theft device and viral social media videos show thieves how to exploit the issue. It's working. The Highway Loss Data Institute shows these models have a theft claim rate of 2.2 per 1,000 insured vehicles. The rest of the industry combined is at 1.2. Obviously, it's really concerning. And so right now we're working with the community to make sure that they understand that prevention is going to be our best avenue in this. Madison police have teamed up with Hyundai to hand out hundreds of wheel locks this summer. They still have some available, too. You can also find them on Amazon for relatively cheap. 30 to $60 for a wheel lock is going to save you hundreds or thousands of dollars in headaches and vehicle damage if your car was stolen. We got one for Adele. Once she gets her car back, Restero still has has it. We asked them repeatedly to go on camera to tell us what happened here and how they're working to make sure other customers' cars are safe. Here are some of the questions we asked of the company. Why won't your insurance or your company cover Adele's damage done on your property? What's your security plan to avoid this sort of scenario from happening again? And do you use these relatively cheap wheel locks as an extra layer of safety for these cars, especially the ones that aren't yours? Here's what we got in response via email, saying in part the dealership is working to resolve the issue with Adele, quote, just as we do with any customer issue. We have measures in place to help secure all inventory, both customer vehicles as well as our own, to the best of our ability. Vehicle theft is an issue not isolated to this incident only. As far as Adele's case, Darrow gave her a rental for a few weeks and did offer to pay for her deductible, so her insurance could cover the costs. No, it's their fault. <laughs> she told us she wants them to take more responsibility. It's crazy and it's wrong, and I can't believe a business would run that way, and it's, it's insane. In Madison, I'm Leah Lynchine with this Call for Action. Now, Rust Arrow has since taken its rental back from Adele, so she's had to spend her own money on rental cars to get around. All the meanwhile, the dealership still has her vehicle. In more local news tonight, this morning in Madison, you'd find hundreds of people who've had their lives affected by Alzheimer's disease walking to end it. The walk, which was a little more than two miles, began and ended at Val Phillips Memorial High School. Before the walk officially began, First Lady of Wisconsin Kathy Evers gave opening remarks, speaking about her work with the Aging and Disability Resource Center to make the Wisconsin Executive Residence an officially designated dementia-friendly space. All the money raised today will go toward advancing the care, support, and research efforts of the Alzheimer's Association. Money um, that is raised is staying here locally and also helping to fund national research that's happening um, to find a cure, but it's also providing um, us money so that we can help lead care and support programs to no cost to families in the area. More than 6 million Americans are currently living with Alzheimer's disease, with 120,000 here in Wisconsin. At Olin Park today, you'd be able to find plenty of people participating in the 21st Annual Down Syndrome Awareness Walk. Our Catherine Merck was at this afternoon's event and shares what raising awareness means for one family in particular. And this here is Chase. This is my five-year-old son. Nick Bauer is the president of an organization that means a lot to his own home. Uh, he has Down syndrome, and, you know, he's our only child right now, and he's kind of this, the son of our universe. The Down Syndrome Awareness Walk is put on by the Down Syndrome Association of Wisconsin. It aims to shine a light on families like Nick's and thousands of others. There's a lack of awareness. That That's kind of the, the bottom line. You know, there's, I think, one in 700 kids are born with Down syndrome, but you talk to most people, you know, they don't know much about Down syndrome. Today was a day for this community to stand in the spotlight and connect people together. You don't have to know anybody to come to this walk and, and help everything. Each step at this walk means something bigger for all those impacted by Down syndrome. We, we are a family. Including Chase and his dad. Reporting in Madison, I'm Katherine Merck with News 3 Now. 
Today's walk was part of a way to also raise money for the Down Syndrome Association of Wisconsin so that it can continue giving back to the community. The group has a goal of raising $65,000. Well, marijuana isn't legal here in the Badger State, but that didn't stop activists from celebrating it this afternoon during the annual Great Midwest Marijuana Harvest Festival. That festival, sponsored by the Libertarian Party of Dane County, is believed to be the longest running cannabis rights festival in America. It takes place every year and has been since 1971. Speakers and musicians spent their afternoon on Library Mall today to celebrate alongside other cannabis supporters. And uh, I agree with that. Um, I agree that it, it should be a, you know, your right to do it if you want or not. It's not a big harmful thing like a whole lot of other drugs are. And where it's been legalized, it's just been fine. So, you know, that's, that's really what people here are about. Governor Tony Evers recently said he'd like to see marijuana eventually end up on the ballot here in Wisconsin. And if re-elected, he says he'll propose it in his 2023 state budget. Around the Midwest, three people on board a small airplane were killed last night when it crashed into a home in northern Minnesota. Two people were inside that house. Luckily, they weren't hurt. The officers say a Cessna 172 airplane crashed in Hermantown. That's near Duluth. Police say they were notified by the control tower at Duluth International Airport that a small plane had left the radar. That plane had hit the second floor of the home before coming to rest in the backyard. We woke up to the sound of what sounded like a bomb going off. Uh, the dust from the insulation was so thick we could barely see each other, my wife and I. The FAA has been notified and investigators are still working on that crash scene. In some consumer news, entertainment giant Disney has blocked its content from being shown on Dish Satellite TV and Sling TV. That means millions of Americans are without the Disney Channel, ESPN Sports, FX, and in some places, local ABC stations. Disney says that despite months of negotiation, Dish and Sling declined to reach a fair market-based agreement. But on the other side, Dish and Sling claim Disney just walked away from the negotiation table. The ABC markets affected by this blackout include New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, San Francisco, Houston, and Fresno. So some major markets there. Disney says it's urging Dish and Sling to continue work on minimizing the service disruption to their customers. Still ahead tonight at 10, Dairyland gets to show off this week. Today marks the start of the World Dairy Expo. We'll head inside the Alliant Energy Center for a look at its first day. Also, we're taking a trip west to Mount Horeb, where crafters and peddlers were out downtown selling their goods, all a part of the town's annual Fall Village Market. This fall, fall into savings with an affordable, delectable dining set. Whether you're craving farmhouse, rustic, contemporary, cottage, and more. I've got dining and counter heights, storage benches, and tons of configurations. Get Boss Discount! The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original window. Boom. No need to be afraid of old windows. Call Feldco for 50% off. It's the biggest sale of the season. 50% off Feldco windows, plus no money down and no interest until 2024. 50% off windows ends soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Mass shootings, school shootings, and violent crime are on the rise. And Ron Johnson is making things worse. He abandoned law enforcement, voting against funding for the police, preventing local departments from hiring more officers, but supported flooding our streets with guns and making it easier for violent criminals and domestic abusers to get them. Ron Johnson is failing to keep us safe. Every Town for Gun Safety Victory Fund is responsible for the content of this ad. You heard the Jingle Man, Wisconsin. That means it's time to get a versatile, rugged, athletic SUV that makes you feel like you just won a title. Again. Honda was just crowned KBV.com's best value brand for the seventh year in a row. So get up and go to your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer today. Honda gets Wisconsin. Bring it home, Songbird. Get up and go! Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell & Howell. We call them TAC Glasses. Inspired by the sunglasses worn by our heroes in uniform, TAC Glasses block blinding glare so well, invisible objects suddenly become visible. 
enhance colors to give you vision as sharp as an eagle's, and survive even the harshest conditions. Act now to get your tack glasses for just $19.99, and we'll even ship it to you free. So don't delay. Order yours today. Check out my Playscape two-piece sectional. The $12.99 price tag makes it great. The two colors and five decorative pillows makes it greater. The comfy pop-up sleeper with Baba Beatic memory foam makes it greater. -er -er. Get Bob's discount. Greater. -er -er. Monday morning live reports on the happenings at the World Dairy Expo for you and your family, plus the traffic impacts to downtown Madison. Plus, it's another week that features yet another big cool down. I'll tell you how cold and when. Monday from 4.30 to 7. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. If you're involved in the dairy industry, odds are you're spending some time this week at the Alliant Energy Center for the World Dairy Expo. Think of it as a meeting center for the global dairy industry. This week, dairy producers, companies, organizations, and enthusiasts alike will come together for plenty of exhibits, contests, trade shows, and more. This expo draws thousands from all over the world, with attendees saying they just can't get enough of the annual event. Yes, it's very much it's a family affair. It's like a family reunion. You see people we only see once a year. I have a lot of good friends in Canada, and of course you can't get up there very easy. They come to show here and just meet with them, people from California that I'm good friends with. Like I said, you see them once a year. It's like a family affair, a family picnic, family reunion, whatever you want to call it. If you want to check out this event for yourself, you can. Daily admission tickets cost $15. The Dairy Cattle Show starts tomorrow, and the trade show kicks off on Tuesday with that expo running through Friday. That's when a supreme champion will be named after a week full of competition, commerce, education, and networking. Well, after decades of fall festivals, today marks Mount Horeb's fourth annual Fall Village Market. The relatively new event features unique vendors, food from local restaurants, and plenty of live music. Our Andrew Banstra was there today and shares how organized Organizers are already finding more ways to grow the festival for years to come. Mount Horb's Fall Village Market brings people together, building their community and showing off their amazing city to thousands of attendees from across the region. Vendors who have sort of handmade and vintage items, but what really kind of sets it apart from our other events is that you can grab a cocktail or a drink with you and then meander through the vendors as well as our downtown. The market gives locals a platform to feed their passion. I started the uh, BK Custom Woodworking just uh, in my garage uh, to kind of get my kids outside and kind of get them you know into using their hands and you know enjoying kind of spending time with their dad events like this one not only bring people together and support local businesses but with a push from your family they can also kick start a career getting positive feedback in a public setting inspires these vendors to grow these are really cool, unique, different stuff they haven't seen, and, and that's kind of what I'm going for in, in art, you know. And I just kind of follow where my mind goes. Lay in bed, think of something, and next day create it. His family pushed him to get out there, and they're sure glad they did. I never thought he could do something like it because I just, when I saw it the first time he did I'm like, I was shocked because it's so fantastic and like, he can do anything he wants, and he's doing it now, and he's at this. In Mount Horeb, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Now. That's the support you need, right? Well, this was the first year the event wasn't held on Main Street. Organizers say that change has resulted in some massive success, with more people attending this year than the one prior. Let's get a look now at your certified most accurate forecast with meteorologist Gary Canalti. Well, it was a great day for the festival in Mount Horeb. Just about anything going on this weekend. Uh, three things you need to know in the forecast. Look for high temperatures in the upper 60s for tomorrow and around 70 for Tuesday and Wednesday. So more nice weather for the next three days. Also dry through Wednesday. Might see a slight chance for a shower late Wednesday afternoon. Better chances for showers Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And that's when a cold front comes through. And that's followed by colder weather from Thursday through next Sunday. Frost is likely by Friday night with temperatures down around freezing. High temperatures over the next 10 days above normal for the next few days and then a big drop off in temperatures going from 70 on Wednesday to 48 for a high on Friday and then those temperatures slowly starting to rebound back to around normal by the middle part of next week. As we take a look at Doppler track there have been some sprinkles of rain across northwestern Wisconsin northern and central Minnesota back into the Dakotas all 
weekend, but they've stayed away from us. It's time somebody else gets the rain compared to the last few weekends when we've had rain here. High temperatures today, 60s across Wisconsin, 70s, 80s, near 90 over central portions of Nebraska. But there is cooler weather out to the west behind these showers. Notice the jet stream pushes northward here. That's allowing some of that warmer air to build. But when the jet stream drops down like it is in the western part of the country, that's where the colder air is. And this pattern has been steady uh, for the last few days. Nothing has really moved. We've seen the same wave uh, pattern here. And a lot of that is because of what was left of Hurricane Ian heading up the east coast. Now that's starting to pull out to sea. And once that happens, the jet stream will start shifting. And that cooler air out to the west will start heading in our direction. But again, we've got a couple more mild days before that happens. Uh, right now, there's a stationary front out to the west. Temperatures are still pretty mild around the uh, plain states and the uh, western portion of the Midwest. Cooler off to the east, though. Temperatures already down to 39 in Escanaba, Michigan. Some 30s and low 40s across northern Michigan. We're kind of in between uh, 52 in Madison, but out to the west, temperatures are a few degrees milder. As we check out the forecast for tomorrow, look for mostly sunny skies, a pleasant day, high temperature 67, about the same as today. Uh, planning your day for tomorrow, 67 in Middleton, 66 in Fitchburg, 66 in Deerfield, with lots of sunshine. And across the rest of southern Wisconsin, high 69 in Platteville, 71 in Prairie du Chien, 72 in La Crosse. Farther to the east, temperatures a little bit cooler, 64 in Milwaukee, 66 in Watertown. The 7 to 10 day forecast, 70 for Tuesday and Wednesday. Shower chances Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then those temperatures drop off, 48 on Friday, so uh, down to 32 by Friday night. That's when we have the best possibility for some widespread frost. And then those temperatures slowly starting to creep back up to our normal. High temperatures will be in the lower 60s by the early part of the next week. Maybe some shower chances about the middle part of the week. But this gives you the time while it's still mild out there to check your closets, find any coats that don't fit you. Obviously, you're going to need them by the end of the week, so now's a good time to go through them. Uh, if you have any gently used kids' jackets, snowshoes, or snowsuits, uh, mittens, hats, scarves, snow pants, send them to Coats for Kids. Bring them to any area Clinky Cleaners location. They'll clean them up and get them sent out with the Community Action Coalition. All right, wonderful. Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. Still ahead in sports, we have details on the new coaching changes within Wisconsin football and here from the interim head coach next when Jordan joins us in sports. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It's Make My Mondays at hy V This Monday, Smithfield Deli Ham, only $1.99 a pound. And 8-ounce Thick Cut America's Chops, only 98 cents. Monday only. And visit hy Deals.com for even more deals. A family that fled their native Ukraine. We are at our new home in the United States. Susan Simon shows you how they've built a new life here thanks to the generosity of a Madison congregation. We'll do our best to make it home now. Monday on News 3 Now at 10. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Get a $500 cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Summer savings are here. Don't miss our best window sale. Right now, buy two windows, get two free. At Champion, we make buying new windows easy. Unlike some other companies, at Champion, we control every aspect of the process. We design it, we build it, we install it, and we guarantee it for life. Keep the heat out this summer with new energy-efficient windows from Champion. Buy two windows, get two free. Call or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. So if we're going to spend a third of our lives sleeping, shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the four-day super sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Get a $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic or save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup. Plus five years no interest with no down payment and free shipping right to your door. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. 
New Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Looking for one of our most capable Ford SUVs? Okay, great. We've got you covered. Spacious interiors, innovative tech, good looks, and a legendary off-road experience. Check out our inventory today, or let us help you place a custom order. Getting into the perfect Ford SUV? Well, it's easier than ever. Yeah, we've got you covered. Now choose FlexFi on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge and get 0% financing for 66 months. It's Make My Mondays at hy V. This Monday, 8-ounce Thick Cut America's Chops, only 98 cents. And Banquet Pot Pies, only 58 cents. Monday only. And visit HyVDeals.com for even more deals. on our top story tonight with Paul Christ out as Wisconsin's head coach Jim Leonard will take over as interim head coach for the rest of the season. Leonard is currently in his sixth season as the Badgers defensive coordinator and since taking over as DC Leonard has produced some of the country's top defensive units. Last season the Badgers were ranked first in the country for average yards allowed per game and his Wisconsin roots run deeper than being a coach. He was a three time all American safety for the Badgers tied the school record with 21 career interceptions also broke a conference record for most career punt return yards. So from player to interim head coach, a lot of emotions there. And tonight, Leonard spoke about that and how this isn't something he's taking lightly. You know, I really became who I am at the University of Wisconsin and in this football program and, and around, you know, so many people that, that are still here today. So to have an opportunity to, to be in this position um, is not one that I take lightly and, and, and very excited for. Very mixed emotions at this point, but um, I feel like I can take this opportunity and help this place grow. Two storage franchises meeting at Lambeau Field this afternoon. The Packers hosting Bill Belichick and the Patriots. This marks just the 12th regular season meeting between the teams and the first since November of 2018. Aaron Rodgers and company obviously wanting to keep their win streak going, but the Pats not making this one easy. We're going to head to the fourth quarter, tied up at 17. Bailey Zappi hands it off to Damian Harris, barrels in for the go-ahead score. Well, Rodgers answers on the very next drive. He puts one up for Romeo Dobbs. It's his 500th career passing touchdown. That score ends up holding through regulation. This one actually goes to overtime where Mason Crosby plays hero. He drills a 31 yard field goal allowing the Packers to edge the Patriots 27 to 24. It's never easy winning in this league and certainly there's a lot of things that we need to do better but um, you know bottom line is we, we came we found a way when we needed to and we made just enough plays to, to come out on top you know we talk about how do you respond to adversity and I thought there was a lot of adversity throughout the course of the game and our guys you know stuck together Badger Volleyball made quick work of the Nittany Lions on Friday night coming away with a top 10 conference sweep today the Badgers are back at the field house for another Big Ten duel this time taking on the fighting Illini ranked or not Illinois gives Wisconsin some troubles early on but the Badgers managed some big plays to write the scoreboard Sarah Franklin leading the way with 15 kills Devin Robinson right behind her with 14 the Badgers get it done in five sets the end the 10 the weekend with a 2 and 0 record now they hit the road to face Indiana on Wednesday night. Brewers entered the day one game back from the Phillies for that third wild card spot, hoping to split the series with the Marlins. Naturally, this one heads to extra innings. Tied up at two, the Marlins snag the lead. Willie Adamas answers right back with a game tying single. But Miami will have the final say. They win this one in the 12th, four to three. The crew is now two games back from the third wild card spot. Jordan, obviously you cover sports, but I feel like today <laughs> you were doing a sport of yourself. I've, you and Zach were running around so fast. I. I think you were a blur for a good like three hours in the newsroom. Yeah, it, it felt like the longest stretch of time, but it was it went by very fast. But so, usually yeah. it's news side running around. Today it was sports. It was weird. I was there for emotional sport. I couldn't really help otherwise. Thank you. No, that was but very important. Thank you. Thank you. I tried. I appreciate that. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Yep. yep. A final check of your first one forecast coming up when we return. One Furniture's anniversary sale with up to 43% off store-wide and 43 months free financing. Plus, get tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture.
Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Ron Johnson's at it again, lying about my taxes. Let's be clear, my taxes are paid in full, but there were times I was getting by on peanut butter sandwiches. And that's why I support a tax cut for the middle class. Put more money in your pockets, because I know how hard you work. But Johnson he used a sentence to write a loophole that gave huge tax cuts to himself and his biggest donors, leaving us with crumbs. And that's how we get left behind. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. Family-owned Brothers Maine knows choosing appliances for a remodel or new build can be exciting and overwhelming. Our experienced staff has experienced it all as we've guided thousands of area families through appliance selection. Brothers Maine has a larger inventory and low price deals that consistently beat competitors, including Big Box. You heard me, Big Box can't beat our prices. From sales to install, Brothers Maine does it all. Feel great about your purchases and feel like family at Brothers Maine. Do you worry about going to the dentist? Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call the number on your screen and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month. So call now and make going to the dentist carefree. Call 1-800-451-3571 to receive your free Carefree Dental Card information kit. The radical left hate America and riot in our streets. They indoctrinate our children to hate America, stoking fear and envy with their lies and deceptions. Their radical woke agenda and divisive politics are tearing our country apart. Here's Mandela Barnes. Because the founding of this nation, awful. Mandela Barnes is a radical leftist. He supports their woke agenda that's causing you and your family so much pain. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Do you want some more? Do you want it? We need a hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah, you don't need fresh air. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Do you want some more? Wait till you see me on the downhill. <laughs> see you at home. Real luxury, real confidence. Enjoy with the advanced safety features of a Lexus ES. A1 Furniture's anniversary sale. Save up to 43% off name brand mattresses and get 43 months free financing. Plus, get tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Reality Check, Wednesdays on News 3 Now at 6. So I was going to say earlier in the forecast, this is the perfect time to open my windows up, get some fresh air, and then you give me the extended day, and I saw the 30s, and I thought, mm -hmm. This, today, yeah, today, <laughs> next couple of days are, are like that. I think yep. if you open your windows by the end of the week, you'll probably have a different, uh, Opinion, different yes. uh, feeling there. Well, let's start out by looking at the live view from the Edgewater Sky Cam. Skies are clear, temperatures pretty comfortable. 52 in Madison, 48 right now in Boscobel, 46 in Watertown, and the Dells, but zooming into Dane County, you can see temperatures range from the upper for 40s, including 49 in Mount Horeb in Verona, to 52 in McFarland, and 50 degrees in Stoughton. Look for skies to be mostly clear overnight, low dropping to 44. High temperature tomorrow, about 67. Lots of sunshine in there. Next couple of days look good. Some showers Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then there's that uh, mm. forecast for the end of the week. Where Maybe it's be crack cold. the window. Thanks for joining us tonight. <laughs> News to now this morning starts at 4.30.